Welcome to Autoplay Media Studio 6.0 by Indiegogo Software. We're just going to take a look around and get to know the application a little bit in this first video. As you can see here, you're presented with this dialog box when you open Autoplay Media Studio. It gives you four choices. You can create a new project, open an existing project, restore the last open project, or exit. In this case, the Restore button is grayed out because this is the first time we're running Autoplay Media Studio. Let's go ahead and click on Create a New Project. That brings us through to the template dialog. As you can see here, we've got a wide variety of professionally designed templates for all sorts of applications. And you can start projects using these templates simply by selecting them here. Let's go ahead and leave the default project name of my project, and we'll click on the audio player template here to select it, and click on the Create Project Now button. There we go, we've started up our first project, and we could actually go ahead and publish it right now if we wanted to. It's ready to go but we're going to go ahead and take a look through Autoplay Media Studio here before we head on to the next video. As you can see here, there's a bunch of familiar stuff that you're used to, such as toolbars and menu selections along the top. There's a couple things here you might not be familiar with, such as the panes along the left here. These are kind of, I'm going to pull it out here to make it a little bigger, these are kind of the same as the ones you might see in programs like Visual C++ and so forth. They give you access to information and properties of objects. So if we select the logo, for example, you can see it gives us access to the uh, file path, the position, the size, uh, the custom cursor for when the mouse is over top of it, and so forth. I'm just going to drag this back over here and deselect. And we'll take a look here underneath the view menu, and you can see you have access here to all the different toolbars, panes, and you can save your pane layouts and restore them here. Um, under the Layout tab. So if you have a, a variety of different workspaces you like to use for different projects, you can save and restore them as you like here. Okay, so that's the gist of the workspace. We've also got some features that are probably familiar to a lot of people who are used to using uh, programs, say, like Photoshop and Flash. Uh, for example, the rulers here and guides. If you want to create a guide for your design time environment here, you can just actually click and drag from the ruler to create the guide and you can actually just click and drag to get rid of them too. So that's pretty handy and we also have access to all the different aspects of our work environment here. For example, we can change the color of the stage, get rid of this page shadow, so on and so forth. And As we work our way through these different videos, we'll take a look at all these different aspects and uh, get a better idea of how you can uh, really maximize the, the power of Autoplay Media Studio for your projects. So let's go ahead and go on to the next video tutorial now and take a look at uh, the workspace.